A total of seven CSGO teams and players and staff being involved with separate teams in terms of ownership are now being forced by Valve in a five month span to resolve those conflict of interest issues. And I wanna give a major clap. We have seen a back and forth when it comes time for Valve on the treatment of conflicts of interest. Thanks to Decay, when we first covered all of this back in September of 2019, this first post in summary for all of you guys was pretty much Valve and conflict of interest saying they must be divulged publicly and also must be resolved. Then all of a sudden this year they changed their post about this and most recently with MIBR and Yeah Gaming. If you guys did miss that, they competed against each other in the Road to Rio or at least one of those events directly against each other and it came out that apparently a few of those members of MIBR had some sort of financial stake and ties to the team they had just played against, that being Yeah Gaming and all of a sudden Valve came out and said, yeah, as long as you publicly state your ownership, we're just going to let it slide. Apparently that's not the case. Now several, several weeks later, we're back with a third stage statement so it seems with Valve as they are now back to where they originally started that being conflicts of interest when it comes time for player ownership or staff ownership you must have ownership in the team you currently compete and play for or you are a part of once you go elsewhere that's got to be resolved. And when it comes time for the seven teams involved yes it's of course going to be MIBR, Yeah Gaming, Nip, Dig alongside FaZe Clan, Ents, and evil geniuses. Now, when it comes time for what has to be resolved, MIBR being the most obvious one for potentially having four members. Now, we thought Fallen was also potentially tied to Yeah Gaming. He must have divulged that uh, in, in the past, and rightfully so if he did. I cannot confirm that to all of you, but it was actually Zeus alongside Dead, and of course, Cold Zera and Taco all having those financial ties. Zeus obviously now with evil geniuses. We have Dead and Taco still with MIBR, and Cold Zera and FaZe Clan. Now you understand where those four conflicts of interest do lie. Also, speaking Speaking of other organizations, ironically tied to MIBR, that being their parent company of Immortals Gaming Club, one of their staff members known as Lurpus, also has a small ownership stake in Ents, which now must also be resolved because it to operating competing uh, companies and organizations. And then very lastly, as we know for sure, it's Get Right, possibly Forest as well. They, of course, were former players, long-term players for NIP. In result, they did get some ownership stakes in that. We've known about Get Rights, Get Rights for quite some time now. And yes, they're both currently playing for Dignitas. That is why all seven of those teams are now being involved and asked to actually have all of those players and or staff members to resolve those situations and conflicts of interest, uh, mostly by sell-off. When it comes time for this, I have to applaud Val by at least cracking down at the very least. Most recently in Conflicts of Interest, we talked about Liquid Doublelift joining TSM, currently dating TSM President Lena. There have been other conflicts of interest when it comes time for the League of Legends scene, so I have to give props where they are due. When Valve comes time for cracking down on this, yes, it did take some time, but at least they are now saying, if you have financial interest of any way in a team you are not playing for, we're not going to be a fan of that. And if you do, uh, and you continue to do so, you won't be able to compete in Road to Rio or any major events as well, which is a great, uh, a great sign for the future, at least in my opinion. Now, very lastly, I do feel for these players, although they probably should have known, given the Valve past treatment, I don't know exactly what clarification, what communication they have had with Valve, if they've been given updates on all of this or a future forewarning. As of right now, they've been given just five months to now sell off their ownership in some form or another. And it, it's got to be pretty stressful, right? It's got to kind of suck if you are an MIBR player, if you're going to sell off some sort of financial stake in Yeah Gaming, who have not really proven themselves in any way so far, that was probably going to be a long-term investment to see how that talent does develop. Uh, another part of their deal was actually MIBR having some sort of deal with future Yeah Gaming players if they wanted to add them to MIBR. I don't know what happens to that. When it comes time for NIP stake as well, does anyone out there want to buy in to Ninjas in Pajamas? I don't know, but if you're given five months and the buyer knows you have to sell, I imagine these players won't be getting the best deal possible for their ownership stakes in separate organizations and teams. We will see how those deals do run out. And if anything runs awry with that, of course, I'll cover it for all of you guys. As of right now, Valve is slapping down for the third, for the third something time on complex ventures when it comes time for players and staffs and ownership with teams they do not actually compete for and, and i'm a big fan of this what do you guys think until next time hope you guys all enjoy drink your water drink your coffee i'll see you guys back here next time okay